Now that the 360's flattened out the signal, we can go ahead and set the gains on the amplifier. Uh, here at RTTI, there's only one way we recommend doing it, and that's using an oscilloscope. Um, the old myth of turning the radio to three quarters, turning the amplifier up to hear distortion, and then backing it down, we don't recommend that. This way you can have a repeatable, reliable system every time. So we're gonna use a one kilohertz test tone off this CD recorded at zero dB, and I'm gonna set the gain on this amplifier. First thing you wanna do is disconnect the speaker wires. Uh, a pure test tone, wide open, is gonna be very hard on the speakers and we don't wanna damage anything. So we are going to unhook the speakers, hook the scope up directly to the amplifier and analyze the output. So now I have the scope hooked up to the front of the amplifier. We're gonna turn this up until the, the waveform starts to clip. And then I'm gonna turn the amplifier down until it becomes clean. 28 volts. We've done the front channels, now we'll do the same to the rears, and then we'll do the same on the sub-amp. On the sub-amp, we're going to have to use a different track because it's crossed over and it's playing the sub-frequencies. So, luckily for us, we have three different frequencies recorded on this, so we'll use 40 hertz on the subwoofer amplifier. It's a basic setup on a 360. Uh, and amplifier tutorial on how to set the gains. If you'd like more information, you can visit our website, rockfordfosgate.com, and download our 360 setup and tuning guide.